Durban's iconic Moses Mabida Stadium will once again open its curtains to yet another major cup final in South Africa. Ayanda, we've got Orlando Pirates who come into this fixture as overwhelming favourites, of course, because they play uh, Amazulu, who, as they've shown throughout this campaign, throughout this MTN8 campaign, that they simply cannot be written off. Yeah, definitely. Welcome back, by the way. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, Thanks. And welcome to our viewers at home again. Yeah, it's MTN8 mm -hmm. at Moses Mapida. Wafa, the, home, wafa. Yeah, the home of finals, as <laughs> they say. Yeah, so, like, hey, mm -hmm. it's going to be a difficult game. Hard to predict. Amazulu, it's been like 12 or 10 years yeah. since they played uh, the final. Uh, if my mind serves me well, it was the last time they played the final, it was uh, at FNP Stadium mm. uh, in 2010. So now coming into this game, yeah, it's going to be like a difficult Amazulu. Mango will want to make a mm -hmm. statement to For the sure. Orlando Pirates there. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah. I can't wait for the day. Yeah, but let's talk a bit about this Amazulu project that since the Zungus took over, of course, they showed the ambition. They hired the likes of Eli McCarthy as their coach. Yeah. They've signed the likes of uh, Gabatino Mahango, as you've touched on. Now they're playing, they've reached the cap competitions. They're playing in cup finals. Yeah. Are we now seeing an Amazulu side that still early days in this project, but a team that can compete? Yeah, it's still early days, but you can see the project that they are trying to mm. build. Uh, so give them, let's say, maybe about next coming five years, uh, Amazulu. Do I, you make this a eight-year or seven-year plan? Yeah. Considering the couple of years that have gone by. Yeah, 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 definitely. It has to be like eight or uh, five years mm -hmm. for them to be like where they want to be because you can't like just build uh, something overnight. Mm -hmm. So... I'm try telling that to Mamkiz. <laughs> <laughs> so Zumu coming in into the club, you could mm -hmm. see that yeah, he, he had a vision of mm -hmm. being uh, of building Amazul. So yeah, Amazul and uh, signing like uh, making uh, good signings. Uh, your Capatino Mango, George Malulege, Obo, Ethan Brooks. Mm -hmm. So you could tell that the idea, you could see the idea Very ambitious. that yeah, yeah, they are ambitious. Uh, Orlando Pirates, let's touch on them for a moment. They obviously had that long. Uh, trophy drought, um, you know, carrying back then to the glory days, and then they ended it with the MTN8. Um, and yeah. Now they're back in the the cup final to sort of relive that moment once again. They obviously the, the favourites, the tournament favourites, uh, beating the likes of Sundowns three 0 So yeah, I sh I'm sure that you know leaves a heavy statement for Amazulu to sort of. <laughs> You know what? Uh, you know what? Just coming into this game, uh, Orlando Pirates, since the tournament was uh, renamed to mm. MTN8, Orlando Pirates are the only team that has won it twice, mm. uh, three times. I mean, rather, it's Orlando Pirates since it has been uh, renamed to mm -hmm. MTN8. So, mm -hmm. Orlando Pirates, this is their cup. Like, yeah. yeah so, coming. This in, is their cup. <laughs> this is the cup, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I want to so, ask you something, um, yeah. a bit off topic, but still related to the MTN8. Of course, uh, yeah. you feature regularly on the weekly podcast and this video as well. And everyone knows that yeah. you support Orlando Pirates. Yeah. Definitely. And then we've got Joshua Gaylord, who also sits in the same chair and he supports Amazuli and he's made it well known. And of course, you guys are very close. You'll sit together in the soccer betting news yeah. office. And how's that been now? It's the week of the final. Are you not talking to him as like, you know, as <laughs> one less sugar in the coffee? <laughs> hey, <laughs> tell, me, tell me what that's like. Uh, like, hey, Ujosh. Is it like a mutual respect? Yeah, it's, there's a mutual respect, mm -hmm. but Uchoche, he's scared, man. <laughs> 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 I mean, that every Amazulu support? That's why he's not even sitting here. <laughs> like, he's scared. So, I, as a pirate, I'm confident mm -hmm. that, yeah, we coming uh, with gun blazing into mm -hmm. this game. Uh, we've lost the bragging rights of Iso to yeah. So Orlando Pirates must repay us by winning the MTN8. So, so. Is, is that a factor for Orlando Pirates? Because when they fancy to win the game, like the Soweto Derby, yeah. the things don't often go according to plan. And then when they sort of have that underdog tag with yeah. them, going into the fixture like the Sundowns game, we saw how they turned it on there. You, so how will that factor against uh, playing an Amazulu team? You know, for me, I think the loss against the Kaiser Chiefs was uh, a wake-up call for mm -hmm. Orlando Pirates players. Because uh, for me, I think if they won that game, mm -hmm. 
they will go with a mentality that uh, we've beaten Sundowns, we've beaten Kaiser Chiefs. Chiefs in a row. Who is Amazulu? You, you know. Mm-hmm. So this was a wake-up call for them to switch on, to mm-hmm. go there and respect Amazulu mm-hmm. and take a game to them and like respect to the game. Mm-hmm. And they must not uh, write off Amazulu because it's been a club that has been like never played a tournament, a, final, a cup final in like 10 years. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. Judging on how the past five minutes have gone in my life, I sort of think I know who you're predicting to win this cup <laughs> final. I'm sure our viewers sort of know as well, but yeah. tell us. Tell us why Orlando Pirates will win this fixture and lift the MTNA trophy. Pirates have been there. They mm-hmm. have done it before. So the and pre- not so long ago. Yeah, and the pressure is not on them. And even before they won the tournament, uh, Bloemfontein Celtic scored first on that game. I remember it very well. And Pirates came from behind and mm. won the, uh, the, the, the the tournament by 2-1. So Amazulu, the pressure, I think it's on them as well. Because like, not on them to say, but now the coach, now they are starting to think, what if I make a mistake here? Mm-hmm. You know, if they scored first, Orlando Pirates will be calm and say, we can come back into this mm-hmm. game. So I'll have to give it to Orlando Pirates because of the experience that they have. They mm-hmm. have been in the MTN 8 final. They have done and the points to prove after losing the Soviet Derby. Definitely. So mm-hmm. Amazulu, on the other hand, they have never won a trophy. Like, I I don't remember mm-hmm. when was the last mm-hmm. time they won a trophy. I but was not even born. You've also never seen CS Galaxy it, win a trophy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> until so, a certain moment. But, yeah, I mean... Yeah, so Orlando Pirates, like... These are these are the kind of games like uh, I think coming into this game, pirates. yeah, the pirates they will manage. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, mm-hmm. but they will manage. Even if Amazon can score first, but Orlando Pirates will manage and win the game. Well, that is uh, the thoughts of uh, Ayana Vezi as well as uh, myself, Chessy Nago. Um, if you're an Amazulu supporter, I'm so sorry for that past six minutes. If you're Joshua Gaylord out there watching this video, then, I mean, you've got a response. I think, well, 24 hours to respond. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, for more content, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, all the best to Orlando Pirates as well as uh, Amazulu. Hey, be. Usutu. But you guys are patent, ah, patent. Up the parts, you know, like. Uh, Let's Malena leave was, it on that note. Melina was, but when you say respect, <laughs> Nyana, but yeah, up the parts. <laughs> Until next week, then. Yeah. Cheers. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only ten rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agent.